Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 9th, okay? So we all know the timing is fluid, right? So the reading may or may not resonate with you. We're just going to see what comes up. I did put up the, the, the sound curtains on one of my sets of windows. I burned myself on the drill. I had to watch a video on how to change a drill bit. I figured it out. I bought a new drill, nice one, Craftsman. Craftsman, okay. Uh, and then, you know, I didn't know how to get the drill bit in. <laughs> Anyhow, we got it in, but then I didn't realize it was gonna be hot. Well, it's freaking hot. Anyhow, um, I might not need a man for any reason at this point. I mean, if I get used to that drill, I mean, what the hell? So let's see what we got. I will buy another set for the other set of windows, I suppose, since I do like those. So what do we got for a message today? What do we have for a message today? Two pentacles reversed. So, I don't know. It looks like things could be chaotic. Things may not go as planned. <laughs> That's fun. Two pentacles reversed. That's upheaval. Some sort of upheaval. Too many balls in the air. Something may not go as planned, right? This is lacking balance, lacking organization. Uh, overwhelmed. <laughs> Seven of Cups reversed. Six of Pentacles. We look at the reversals. Oh my God. So this is becoming clear. Seeing something very clearly. A choice has been made. This is a choice that has been made as well. So somebody has made a choice to not give to something. They don't want to give to it. They don't want to play. I don't want to play anymore. Because juggling is playing. Not playing. Not playing this game anymore. Not going to give. The decision is made. Seeing clearly what needs to be done. But things could be a little bit overwhelming. Somebody may have bitten off more than they can chew. They may be deciding to not give. This is not reciprocate. I don't want it. You know, the Six of Pentacles reverse. It's like, I'm not going to give you anything. I'm not giving you anything. There could be some financial problems here as well. Somebody may be. Uh, having some financial setbacks that, you know, cause things to not go as planned. Okay? The Six of Pentacles reversed could be strings attached. There could be some financial issues on this day. All right? Ooh. may have somebody that is angry. Page of Swords reverse. This is being caught off guard, hostile, aggressive. Um, could be some bad news. Somebody could be receiving some bad news. Could be in the pocketbook. You know, in regards to their finances, they may have thought that they, maybe they overspent. Somebody may have overspent and now there's consequences because this is a kind of consequences for the choices that they have made. Somebody could be, they could be dealing with some mild conflicts or some minor, minor money setbacks on this day. Somebody may have overspent, now they're paying the price, you know, now they, they can't get what they wanted to get or something like that. The Page of Swords reverse can be bad news, it catches you off guard. Maybe you think you had the money, but you don't have the money or something like that. Um, or somebody may, th may, be, may have been communicating with somebody and all of a sudden the communication stops. Or somebody gets angry. You know, this is difficulty in communication. This is... Um, Unexpected conflict. So there could be some unexpected conflict on this day. Get prepared. Ah, there's there's foresight here. There's an, there's somebody that may need to, to uh, focus on the future. Waiting for something. They're waiting for something to arrive. They're not. It's not happening. It's not because of the Six of Pentacles reverse. Somebody's not going to get what they thought that they were going to get, and they could be angry. They definitely could be angry. Maybe they weren't chosen. Maybe there's a lot of options. The Seven of Cups is all about options. So 
somebody could be feeling, you know, overwhelmed because they weren't chosen, you know, um, feeling reject rejected. The Six of Pentacles is rejection, which can cause, you know, inner conflict or angry or something like that. There could definitely be a rejection here. You know, somebody thought they were going to get something. They thought they were going to be chosen and they're not, you know. Um, but the three of, three of Wands is a time of preparation and waiting. Somebody's been hoping and praying and waiting for something, waiting to receive something. They may get some bad news. They may get some bad news. And this isn't happening. I'm sorry. You know, that kind of thing. Um, I'm sorry. You know, that may be the case. Those words could actually come out. I mean, the page of uh, swords in reverse is somebody that um, is very direct and may say things maybe even without thinking, you know. This this could be even an, an aggressive energy. Somebody may be aggressive because they were rejected. Their pride may be hurt. Usually if somebody is aggressive because of a rejection, because they weren't chosen, it's because of their pride, right? It is because of their pride. So anyway, I do believe that um, we have somebody here that may have been hoping and praying that they were going to receive, but now they haven't, so they may be upset. We could also have somebody here that has some mental health issues with the Page of Swords reversed. This person is unbalanced, mentally unbalanced, 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 and this is mental. So I'm not sure if we have somebody here that is mentally unbalanced and they're really, really, really upset. Four of Swords reversed now. Hmm. Exhausted. Somebody is really, really fed up. They are fed up. They don't want to be alone anymore. You know, or they don't want to be in this situation anymore. But I feel like we also have somebody that has some health issues and they need to slow down. They may be doing too much. Okay, so that's another message for somebody entirely. Slow down. That's a big message. Slow down. You know, I feel like I feel like it, somebody needs to really reflect. They need to reflect on their future plans and make better choices. Somebody may have made poor choices. Obviously, they did because that Seven of Cups in, is in the past. You know, they've made, somebody has made poor decisions in the past. Maybe it's about slowing down and thinking. Somebody has been acting without thinking. And, you know, now I feel like there's a rejection because of it. I do see frustrations here over not getting what you, somebody, they thought you thought you were going to get it. You're not going to get it. Whatever it is. I'm sorry to say that. And there's frustrations and feeling isolated, extremely isolated because somebody was hoping and praying that this was going to, they were going to get what they thought they were going to get. And now I feel like they're agitated and frustrated and angry and, you know, unbalanced, having a hard time managing, you know, uh, accepting something. Judgment reversed. Now the judgment reversed. And it's interesting because on the bottom we have justice reversed. So we got some karma here. We have karma. We have lack of awareness. Somebody has made a bad choice. And this is about moving on from a bad choice. Totally unaware of the truth. Unable to accept. Yes, because the judgment card in the upright is about acceptance. We got somebody here that is unable to accept a decision that has been made. A decision has been made. Somebody's angry that they're going to be angry with the decision that was made. And they could say something publicly or say something, you know, that could even get them in trouble. You know? Um, totally unaware because of... Well, a lack of awakening. I mean, that's the judgment reverse. Doesn't want to release. Doesn't want to accept. Somebody doesn't want to forgive. I think we have an angry individual here that needs to uh, move on from a bad choice, but they can't move on for some reason because of their ego. I think it is definitely because of their ego. But anyway, with the judgment reverse and justice reverse, we have some bad karma here. Okay, karma never loses an address. Could be dealing with a, li a Libra. Could be dealing with a... Scorpio could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. 
Um, could be dealing with anybody, but I do feel like we, we have something that has come to an end. It has come to a stop. Um, and there's a lack of, of accepting it. You know, I don't want to accept it. Judgment. Re and I think there's ill health. We have somebody here that is not very healthy. They're not healthy. I feel like um, they don't listen to advice. Um, they need advice, but they don't listen to advice. They move really, really fast. And they're, they're, they're just not very awake and they're not very aware. Um, and there's a lack of integrity. I think we have somebody here that lacks integrity, that doesn't completely tell the truth. And I feel like there's, when you get justice and judgment in reversed, it feels like uh, something isn't going in in somebody's favor. You know, this isn't isn't fair. Somebody, and, it, and with the Six of Pentacles reversed, this isn't fair. It may seem like it's not fair, but, you know, everything happens for a reason. And I know I have to say that a lot. But there could be a legal loss here. It could just be a loss period something is somebody's not going to be happy with an outcome and they may be blaming somebody else not wanting to be held accountable for their actions um there could be some lies here with justice reversed judgment reversed the page of swords reversed we have somebody here that doesn't tell the truth this is a con it is a fraud with the six of pentacles this is somebody who abuses their power they say things you know um Maybe they say things publicly that they shouldn't, because I feel like there's something to do with publicity here. They say things that they shouldn't say. Um, anyhow, uh, Six of Pentacles reversed. This isn't fair. It's not fair. Somebody's not going to be happy with an outcome. They're not going to be happy, and they're probably going to be very, very agitated and frustrated with not getting what they thought that they were going to get. So I feel like this is be like this will be like you know this isn't fair. Why? Why? Why is this happening? It's happening because it's not, you know, um, it's not the truth. Something isn't true with justice and judgment reversed. It's a, there's a lack of truth here. Okay. Um, we definitely have somebody who doesn't want to be held accountable for their actions. You know, they don't feel like they have to be accountable. This is somebody that is totally unaware that maybe their words or their actions has caused some somebody to let them go or caused somebody to not give them what they thought that they were going to get. Their poor choices or their poor choice of words even. I feel like we have a poor choice of words here. You know, that has caused somebody to turn their back and isolate another person or say no. It feels like I, I have a no here. No. Sorry. Isn't the way it works. That kind of thing. Like I said, the side the side uh, windows aren't covered yet. Um, and we have a lot of muscle cars around here. So, you know, that was probably a muscle car. Anyway, I forgot to mention that earlier. But anyhow, I do believe we have an enemy with the uh, Page of Swords reverse. This enemy lies. They do not like to be rejected. And I feel like because they have been rejected in some way, they're going to cause, I feel like it's an uproar or a chaos or something like that, you know? So I, I do believe that, that somebody's going to be caught off guard by an individual that, I feel like they're angry, you know? Um, hostile. I feel like this is a hostile situation. You know, um, somebody was hoping and praying that they were going to receive something. And when they get the rejection, I feel like, you know, it's going to cause, you know, some sort of uproar. That's why I feel. Um, get prepared for somebody that I feel is mentally imbalanced. This person may be ill. Okay, they may be ill or sick. Maybe it's, you know, and you take that however it want, you want. I feel like this person may react to a rejection of some sort. Um, this person uh, does breaks the law. Okay, this is a lawbreaker. Absolutely a lawbreaker. This person is. They don't uh, adhere to any rules or any laws. You know, they don't. They're above the law. So, this is somebody that doesn't act with integrity, doesn't tell the truth, and isn't going to be held accountable for anything they did. It's all somebody else's fault. So I do, I do, I feel like it's going to be a day where, you know, somebody's not happy. They're not happy. And I feel like um, they're, 
this is like a loss. It's a, it, maybe it's a financial loss. They, they could be experiencing financial loss. It doesn't have to be financial, but it is definitely a loss. It, and whoever this person is thought they were going to get something. They thought that they were going to gain because it's a, this is a profit and a loss, and this is a profit and a loss. Both of these cards right here are a profit and a loss. The answer is no. This is a loss, not a profit. So it causes an, an upset. So somebody's going to be upset over not getting what they thought that they were going to get, and they're going to. And I feel like it's going to be a wake up call. I think this is a wake up call. It's a rude awakening. I think it is a rude awakening. Um, and it's going to be hard to accept. I mean, that's. I don't want to accept it. We could have somebody that ends up going to court today or they get a citation or something like that because we have court a couple times, okay, with justice and judgment. There's legal issues here. Could even be a restraining order, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, I do believe that this is a day where, uh, and somebody could even be put into isolation, okay? They could be put into isolation, um, because of their poor choices. We definitely have poor choices here, and I think there's consequences because Seven of Cups is consequences. And it could just be a poor choice of words that causes somebody not to get chosen. Maybe it's not chosen for a partnership or a job or whatever it is. Somebody said something, and whether they said it publicly or they said it on the phone or they said something that put up a red flag. Somebody could also get found guilty for something because this is guilty and this one is too. We have somebody here that is guilty. They're guilty of something. And I don't know what it's maybe. It could be stealing. It could be stealing. It could be lying. It could be slander. Um, this is somebody that has bitten off more than they can chew. They have. They've bitten off more than they can chew. And I feel like there's... there's uh, they need to get prepared. They need to get prepared for um, the consequences. Consequences, consequences, consequences. So there's some sort of consequences here. Um, this is consequences as well. Um, so things may not go as planned on this day. It may not. Some of you may have been hoping and praying for a reconciliation. Because this is, both of these cards are hoping and praying. And this is a reconciliation or another chance or a chance to prove themselves. Whether it's a reconciliation, does it have to be? They were, this is a chance, period. Whether it's a reconciliation or whatever it is, this is a chance. Somebody was hoping and praying for a chance and the, the answer is no. So whatever that is, so that could cause animosity and nasty words to be said. One more card. Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is about investment. Is it worth it? You better think about this. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Somebody is thinking about, you know, whether they should invest in something. And I feel like this is a dead end. These are both dead end cards. So I think there's, there's some sort of deciding decision that is being made not to invest in something. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait for something better. This isn't going to bring me balance. It's not going to bring me equality. It's not going to, there's no equal give and take here. So I do believe a decision is being made to reject something that isn't, in line because this is a lack of alignment it's not in line with a person's values it's not a good option so i do be i do believe there's some sort of rejection here and i think it i think it uh 
you know, it's not worth investing in this anymore. There's no, there's no realignment. There's no chance. There's no chance in this working out because it's not on equal ground. There's no equality. There's no reciprocation. There's no um, balance, you know. There's no communication. It's not worth it. It's a dead end. So I do think that there's a new beginning here as well. So I do think on this day, there's a there's somebody that is, they may be hearing the words no, or they just realize, they could just realize that, you know, I got to focus on the future. I can't keep investing, you know. Um, there could be a relocation that is coming up, planting seeds some th plant someplace else. There is also seeds that were planted a long time ago that are coming to fruition. Um... I think we have somebody here that is about to stop investing in something if they have it already that isn't growing anymore or hasn't grown or isn't going to grow because it's dead. It's dead. There's no there's no feelings here. Do you see any feelings? Because I don't. But we do have a new opportunity to start fresh and to start from scratch. So anyway, I, I do believe that on this day, somebody is going to uh, make a decision. And I think it, and the decision might even not even be made by them. It may be made by somebody else. You know, somebody else could be making the decision for them. Anyway, it's, it's, it's time. It's time to go someplace else. It is. It's time to go someplace else and invest in something else that is more in alignment so I do, I do believe that we have somebody here that is uh, not going to give to a situation. And it's after they were rejected. You know, it's like, you know what, I'm just going to go someplace else. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to focus on the future, what I can do, you know, for the future. I'm going to learn from this experience and focus on the future. You know, get prepared. I'm going to get better prepared next time. We also have somebody here that has somebody coming in. Okay, there's going. To, it feels like I, I have an arrival here. We have somebody here that is arriving. Get prepared for an arrival. That's not going to be from every, for, for everybody. You may not see it coming. You've been waiting for this arrival. Somebody has made a decision. They have made a decision. They they are um, They've decided to stop investing in something else, and they're and they they could be moving. They could be somebody because this is relocation to me. It always is. Stop playing games. Somebody's gonna stop playing. It's a profit and a loss. It is. You let go. It's a pro, It's a well, a gain too. So you let go and you gain something. So it's interesting. But there could definitely be some mild conflicts on this day. Absolutely. I do feel like somebody's going to be thrown off guard. Really going to need to think. These are both thinking cards. Think about a choice. Somebody could be presented with an option. Okay, that, you know, they, they, they didn't, they've been waiting for this option, they've been waiting for this, and now they, they don't know what to do. You know, this is like, oh, I don't know what to do. What do I do? What do I do? There could be a new sexual partner for some people that are coming in. This is a new attraction, a sudden desire, a sudden change. Something could happen suddenly. This could be an instant attraction. Somebody could be waiting, they're waiting for something, you know, and they see something that they're instantly attracted to. I mean, that's for somebody. Just waiting. Waiting in line. Feels like there's money involved. Could be an exchange of money. You know, you're waiting in line to buy something. You know, there could be an instant attraction. There could be a conversation that comes up that comes out of nowhere. 
that's for somebody. Um, anyhow, I would say that on this day, things are not going to go as planned. Somebody is going to have to prepare themselves for something, you know, choose wisely. Definitely choose wisely. Choose your words wisely on this day. Because there could be consequences for words that are said. So yeah, we have a new opportunity here that is really, really exciting that is going to be presented. Do you want it or not? This is a chance to come out of isolation. That's for somebody as well. But will you? can you trust? Can you have faith? Maybe it's from a previous rejection that causes somebody to not give to a situation. Oh, I could go all day. All day. So anyway, I do believe that somebody's going to be presented with an option after a rejection. A lot of thinking going on, thinking about whether to invest or not. I almost, I almost feel like somebody's going to be watching another person as well. There's like watching from, it's almost like watching from behind, you know, from behind the scenes. I feel like somebody's going to be watching. They may have this, you know sudden desire to communicate and it throws somebody off guard somebody's going to be thrown off guard on this day whether it's by a rejection or it's by a new love interest or I don't even know if it's love could be just a sexual thing could be um, somebody is definitely going to be thrown off guard beware be careful definitely be careful you don't want to bite off more than you can chew. Okay? I think we have somebody here that may be trying to do too much, you know, and they're not paying attention. There's, and I feel like that's the truth, too. There's no pay, that's not, not paying attention, you know, they, they could trip and fall. I mean, the two of pentacles is a trip and fall. You got to be careful for that. Somebody could trip and fall because they're trying to do too much. They're moving too fast, you know, and it could, you know, cause some sort of uproar or something like that. Somebody could come to help, honestly. Um, but anyway, um, is it worth investing? Looks like it's a, it's somebody has been investing in a dead end and I feel like there's another option that is being presented immediately. It feels like it's immediate, you know? I do. Anyhow, um, I think we have a sudden change here. Sudden change. It's a profit and a loss. Loss that leads to a gain. It probably starts out with anger. I mean, the day may start out like, oh man, but it ends with, you know, I'm going to focus on this. I'm going to focus on the future, you know. Good luck.